<laughs> We're back with week four of On the Spot, and I'm here with Claudia Diaz Combs, who is a what's your year in major? Um, sophomore engineering, civil engineering. Okay, so this is a really random question, but how do you feel about like the top 40 music that's constantly being played on the radio at social gatherings? How do you feel about it? Um, well, I don't really listen to the radio. I just listen to my iPod because I hate hearing the same song like every <laughs> radio and CD. I mean, iPod and CDs. Definitely old school, but the best way to go. So what are your top three artists on your iPod that you're all honest, always listening to? All right, so it'll be like really random, but it's um, Jason Mraz, Bullet for My Valentine, and Linkin Park. So what kind of music does that fall under? under? Well, <laughs> I mean, Jason Mraz doesn't really fall, fall in the same category as the other two, so the other two are like hard rock type, and then Jason Mraz is like sort of pop, but I mean, I loved him since seventh grade, so... Yeah, he's great. He's. I feel like a lot of girls really relate to him. Yeah, I think so, too. If you could pick one song in your iPod to kind of relate your life to, what would it be? Oh, wow. That Tough is... Question. Yeah. Um, okay, well, there's this artist named Michael Franti, and he has a song called Sound of Sunshine. And it's kind of like just... I mean, you could be going through, like, a really tough time, but just sort of have to push through it. So that's probably... I mean, especially with school and stress and stuff, like... That's sort of a song that I can relate to right now. Definitely. That's very, very common for us U of A students. Okay, another really random question. If you, if someone could sponsor you, like a company or like a brand or like, I don't know, anything, who would sponsor you and why? Like for me personally, as an example, it would be Starbucks because I'm like always there and love it. But what would, what would it be for you? Um, I think probably Apple <laughs> because then I would get like all the, you know, their techie stuff, and I love, like, you know, all the music stuff. So I love to update it and look for stuff. So ideally, I'd want Mac so I could get all the free stuff. And how do you feel about the iPad? I think it's sort of ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I I just think I would find it way too hard to just do all the typing touch screen. I mean, I have a touch, I have a touch screen phone, and that's enough for me. Yeah, the touch is kind of like taking over the planet these days. Yeah, it is. It's like Facebook. <laughs> 